family. What it do? It's your girl, Tootie Toot. Not am back, Jack. Shout out to y'all, man. I love y'all. Who is y'all? Drip set, you did? Yo, listen, like, comment, share, subscribe. That's all I need for you to do to support the channel. Heavy on the subscribe button. We're on the road to greatness, you dig me? Hey, man, you guys know um, we reacted to uh, DDG and Haley a little bit earlier. You know what I'm saying? She had a... A outburst, and I mean, I feel like you know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, shot it like it's not something that we don't do, you feel me? But um, DDG did respond to everything that was going on, so without further ado, we're about to go ahead and react to his video. You feel what I'm saying? And if you're not subscribed to DDG, which would be crazy as hell, make sure you go over there and smash that subscribe button. Support is free, damn it, it's free. Now, let's get into it, let's get it. y'all welcome back to another video man uh before we get into what i'm about to talk about um i have a new song dropping next friday what you bad for with a feature on it if you want to know what the feature is you gotta click the pre-save link below bro i admire this man's capability to market through whatever now a lot of people think that he's desperate for attention it's not that okay let me explain something to you this is what he does all right and this is an amazing time to capitalize on the opportunity because a lot of you people were wrong about him. And, and you should go stream his music. For real. Go do it. To pre-save, all you do is put your email in. It drops next Friday, 11-15. Do not miss out. Okay? It's one of my favorite songs. I'm reposting all TikToks. I got millions of followers. If you want to get reposted on TikTok, make a TikTok right now. Ladies, dudes, whatever. I'm reposting everything. Make your TikTok to the TikTok sound on my page, and let's run it up. And now we're going to go up next Friday, I promise. This is one of the ones. But to get into that conversation, um, <clears throat> and this is a little side note. I know a lot of people be saying stuff like, oh, DDG, you doing all this for promo. I just know how to flip negativity into positivity. Facts. Facts. Like, I don't never want y'all to ever see me sweat. I don't never want y'all to think y'all ever made me lose sleep. And when I say y'all, I mean like the people that talk crazy about me every single day. Yeah, I know I've been getting cyber bullied for the past three years. And that's a fact. And, you know, and it's corny because, you know, it's one of those type of things when you add social media to the equation, it's just going to happen. If you have not followed DDG, then you don't understand. 89% of the time when this nigga's on the internet, he is trolling. You feel what I'm saying? But for the most part, bro, a lot of people can't speak down on this dude. Um, he's had times in the past where he done went to the internet and shit like that, bro. But you see the growth in him and shit. And I, I got to say that. You feel me? So let's just keep going. The average person would have been off they self. Mm -hmm. Like the stuff that I go through online for being a active dad is out of control. Like Flex. I go through stuff that don't even make sense. And it's to a point now where my skin is so damn thick, bro, like nothing really gets to me anymore, you know? So that The thing about it, too, is what people don't even understand. And, and I think sometimes people miss the big shit. He's, Halo is already featured with publishing rights on one of his songs. He is already generating revenue for his son. That is probably way more ahead of the game for what his father did to him. Nobody's looking at that stuff. Everybody's thinking, oh, yeah, he's trying to use his son for clout. It's his son. You feel what I'm saying? And anybody who's been following DDG loves this, this situation with his son, bro. I swear to God, he's one of those type of people who you always knew was going to be a great dad. You knew that from the relationship he got with his nephew, his nephew uh, Wu Wop. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I do feel like he got a lot of negative criticism. And I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not mature. I'm trying to learn how to be better at this. Just, you know what I mean? Having th um, thick skin type shit. That's why when I get into situations like this, I'm a promoter song. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do whatever because I'm not going to let you make me feel like I'm not working. I work through the hard times. It's called keeping your head up. It's called fighting through hard times and, and, you know, persevering and stuff like that. So I've been dealing with adversity for the past three, four years um, for nothing, you know, truthfully. Like, I've been getting hated on for so long. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it is what it is. But 
One thing I don't like what people do, I don't like when people hate on Hallie. I don't care if people think she wrong or not, or if I think she wrong or right. She could be going through something mentally after having a kid that I can't understand as a man. Hey, shout out to DDG. For real, man, for real. All jokes aside, shout out to this nigga. There's grown ass men, you know what I'm saying, or whatever that's well into their 40s. They don't understand women's hormones and, you know what I'm saying, PPDMs, all types of shit. For him to even know how to recognize that and still stand at 10 toes behind his, 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 I won't even say mother of his child, you know what I'm saying, speaks volumes of his character. So for everybody, you know what I'm saying, who used to just be slighting him because you didn't know what he went through, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people was under the impression that he was just a, a YouTuber. This nigga has broke boundaries when it come down to YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I, I, I just really admire him for this right here. You feel what I mean? Because I think a lot of the times men don't recognize the changes that happen after pregnancy. Everybody be so transfixed on having a baby mom or, you know what I'm saying, having a child, but they don't understand the shit that women do go through afterwards. I was the first person to say that Haley was out of po that um Hallie was out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. But I was able to recognize that this was just a normal event. Everybody was looking at it like women don't go through this type of shit. It happens, bro. It happens. So when situations like this happen, I ha I try to handle it with as much grace as possible because Halo needs her, mm -hmm. you know. I need her. We we need each other to create a a childhood that's safe and fun and memorable for him. Yeah. And Halo is the biggest blessing in my life. Like, I I don't know. Like, I don't remember what life was like before Halo, and I wouldn't have him if it wasn't for Hallie. And for that reason alone, like, I got unconditional love and respect for her that nobody can really change and y'all gotta understand we're going through a very different transition right now we only been parents for 10 months now we going through like a little breakup whatever you know what i'm saying like y'all gotta understand we going through something you know that's a little you know it's hard for us so when little stuff like this happen it's really nothing people go through this type of stuff all the time i just don't appreciate when people try to put me against her or it's like me hey man hey man i you know what it's, it's it's i'm rooting for them so bad you know what i'm saying and a lot of people is trying to you know what i'm saying figure out what was the reason for they break up look ppd is real it really is you know what i'm saying and then when you have you know what i'm saying a man that's automatically you know what i'm saying under her shadow because they don't understand what he didn't brought to the culture you know what i'm saying or whatever it makes him want to work harder because he's trying to only make a name for himself but he's trying to make a name for his legacy so it's like a lot of people don't understand that even though you know what i'm saying or whatever he's a man who probably want his family that could be a difficult type of transition you know what i'm saying you the woman you love you to had your child with she's going through emotional problems that you don't really really understand because she don't even understand them so it's like man i kind of really salute this dude because like even on the stream when he was reading the text or the tweet from kai you know what i'm saying immediately you know what i'm saying or whatever he respected her he didn't understand what she was going through he could have just been real ignorant but he was not he immediately took halo out of the camera you feel what i'm saying and he finished the stream and i felt like that was a remarkable you know what I'm saying? When it comes down to his character, especially when I done seen niggas way older than this man, you know what I'm saying? Do a lot worse. Like, dead ass serious. Come on, man. Get this nigga his props for this shit, y'all. I mean, for real. You ain't got to like him. You can love the little mermaid. I love them both. I want them together as a family because I feel like I can tell that Halo is love from both parties. You know what I'm saying? But on this particular situation, you got to give it up for this dude, shawty. You, you do. There's no other way to say it versus her and all of this and she's wrong and he's right blah 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 like y'all can hate on me for as long as y'all want but leave Hallie alone man facts mentally y'all don't know what she's going through when it comes to postpartum she just pushed the whole human out she dealing with a whole new life like she has to put everything you know not on pause but she has to always consider Halo in every situation I do too but you know as a mother I know it's way more detrimental. So I got way thicker skin. My skin is just overly thick when it comes to online backlash. But I know for her it's something very, very new. And I just, I'm just asking y'all just to chill. 
and let's go back to regular scheduled programming like no one's perfect you know i you know this this makes me admire him more like i've always i can't wait to meet this dude this is one of the creators besides kasanat that i gotta meet you know what i'm saying and it's only because i can truly see their character I can truly see it like dead ass series, bro. And and one thing that I love about this whole situation is that he recognized that his son is nothing without his mother. You know what I mean? We in this new, this new age where men don't recognize that. Look, you can bicker with me all day online, but that is not benefiting our son. That is not benefiting our daughter. So I love that he recognized that, bro. That is so dope to have, you know what I'm saying? As a man, you feel what I mean? Because like, you know, she did. She's raising a whole nother human. She's got a whole different list of, of, of emotions she probably never felt. She's experiencing a, a mid-breakup. Because I really don't want to call it a breakup. I think it's a pause for them. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they are both making the necessary things that you got to make. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that your significant other and your baby mother and baby father is, is, is going to stay like, you know what I'm saying, in a positive light. And they like, look. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to, but she came on the line and she got damn let you know how she felt. Like, look, my, my, my baby father is a great dad. You know what I mean? I might have overreacted. That took a lot of accountability, bro. And, and I, I'm rooting for them, bro. I, I know they're going to make it, bro. I, I, this pause, I think, is going to be good for them both. I think it's going to allow Haley, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, to be able to just, you know, deal with certain things that she has to deal with as a woman. You feel what I mean? I feel like her mother probably went through it, too, and was probably was able to say, babe, you know what I'm saying, it's normal. You feel what I mean? But shout out to the both of them, shawty. This, this right here is dope. I feel like it's dope on both of their behalf. I mean, I ain't even going to lie. We are only humans. So I just don't like it. Don't like it, y'all. That doesn't do me any good Facts. whatsoever. Me and her getting into it is no good for nobody. Facts. Either one of us. So we are family. That is my family forever. And um, we're going to figure it out. Plain and simple. Um, with that being said. Well, I know that may kind of Haley want to hop on that nigga, though. It got to make her want to hop on. I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all know I've been drinking this shit. Y'all know I got to do it. I'm so sorry. But don't you want to hop on him? I'm telling you, if you didn't like him, you kind of like him a little bit right now. I know you do. We're going to get back to the smiles and the good times and the Facts. entertainment. Thanks. need y'all to do me a favor. Comment below some video ideas. Um, I'm trying to bring y'all that spark back, man. I'm trying to bring y'all that... That feeling back. Facts. You feel me? That y'all used to get when y'all used to watch me when y'all was YNs. You know? We used to come home from school and you used to watch DDG every day. We used to finish a video and then all of a sudden you get another notification for a whole another video. Facts. Facts. On three different channels. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I always kept you smiling and entertained. I want to bring that back. Facts. So I'm posting every single day. And uh, I know lately, maybe the past two years, like I've really just been like collabing with just like maybe my family or you know whatever but now i'm opening a door to whatever like i'm collabing with people now not just one gender you know now it's like you know we got a whole new new you know new, whole new arsenal of possibilities for entertainment and content so any ideas y'all got? Boy, I want to interview this nigga so bad. Shout out. I want to interview this nigga so bad, bro. Um, I'm I'm very um uh, I I love the way his I, I love the way that he thinks. Um he's somebody, man, that I really watch get it out the mud. And I think a lot of people don't know that aspect of DDG. And that's why you see a lot of people in the comments going hard for the kid. Because we watched him all the way from college. You feel me? And just to see him um, transition his whole, his whole family, bro, that alone is amazing. You know what I'm saying? And I know his son is going to be just as great. Um, I love how he still love his, love his baby mother. You know what I'm saying? The mother of his child. You know what I mean? To be able to recognize certain things, man, is admirable. And I feel like when we recognize and we see things like this, Shotty, we gotta we gotta salute it. We gotta big it up. You feel what I mean? Because I don't think that we giving each other enough flowers, man. I swear to God, especially in our culture, we just don't. Let's do it. You feel me? I'm on it. Um, and let's try to let's try to separate 
Real Life from Entertainment. I want y'all to look at my blogs as a TV, TV show. Facts. You know, that's why it's called a channel. Look at my vlogs. It's like a TV show, man. Don't look at it as like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Even if, you know, you might watch Spider-Man and hate the Green Goblin, but that don't mean you need to hate the actor. You feel me? So let's keep it all on the channel. Let's keep it all on the TV show. And I'm going to break it down for the people that's slow in the back. When he do little fucking videos like I went on my first date, don't take it serious. <laughs> The nigga is probably not even thinking about a date. You feel what I mean? But he recognizes what sells. And you got to understand that. The same thing. Haley is not going to grab a script that is not going to be able to resonate with people. It's just that simple. You feel what I mean? So understand that they both doing their own jobs and they have their jobs. But real life is real life and social media is social media. I got to say it because some people still ain't get it. And uh, don't be alarmed by what I post. And just keep it entertainment facts you feel me i'm saying this off of the, the the context of the mcdonald's video that i did and uh a lot of people was tripping well not a lot of people a lot of people understand that it was you know it was cool facts. but you know some people was tripping and trying to put two and two together of my real life and whatever i do online let's just try to separate it a little more and just take it as entertainment as it is and um that's it. Comment below what y'all think I should do. Um, and who I should collab with. I would love to know. But I love y'all, man. I ain't gonna keep yapping about this situation. Go get y'all them RTA clothes, man. RTA. Doc hey, man. Hey, we don't gotta get into the rest of the video. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and watch the video in its entirety. But I just wanted to touch on you guys. I just wanted to touch on the, uh, the key points of the video. And the key point is, listen. You know what I mean? Or whatever. We are young. We're new parents. And we're going to go through things in real time. But the only difference is we're on camera. People be trying to act like they don't understand this thing. Um, and, and it's really nothing to understand. It's real life. You feel what I mean? But um, I think this was a great video. Um, I love how he's stepping ten toes behind Haley. You know what I'm saying? And I love how she's stepping ten toes behind him. She said, listen, hey, I overreacted. You know what I'm saying? My child's father is a great dad. I would never take that from him. I even love that she even went a step uh, further and said thank you, you know what I'm saying, for all of the things that uh, Kai got Halo. Listen, man, they're going to be all right. I really feel like this in my heart. If they ain't going to be nothing else, they're going to be family. You know what I mean? And that's, that's enough for me. I look at that little boy, and I see him with DDG. He's smiling. I see him with his mother. He's smiling. So you know what? Job well done in y'all first 10 months. You feel what I mean? Despite all of the background that they both get you feel me so i want to know how y'all feel drop it down in the comments drop it down below let me know how you feel listen i need you guys to join me monday through thursday 10 30 to 12 o'clock i do the breakfast and bud morning show man it's a great time we interact with each other y'all call in i give out lunch this is a good time so make sure you join me man i love y'all family i do from the bottom of my heart and until the next video i'm gonna catch y'all peace